Hello and welcome to yet another exciting superset tutorial. So today we will be looking at SQL Lab. SQL Lab is a feature that comes in bundled with superset and it makes it possible for you to create um, slices, dashboard slices from result set after writing your queries. The SQL Lab has three sub features which are SQL Editor, Query Sage, and lastly, the saved queries. So without wasting much of your time, let me show you how you can access the SQL lab. Log on to your superset panel. After logging in, do not be alarmed. Currently, we are still in our marathon of tutorials. I will carry out a tutorial presentation on how you can change superset logo, for example. And I'll show you how you can define new roles who can do this, who can view which menu item, who can view which dashboard, and all that under the security sub-menu item. I'll have another tutorial on that. I will also have another tutorial on dashboard, but today we are focusing on SQL Lab. So SQL Lab has three sub-features, like I said earlier. If you click on it, on it there's gonna be a drop-down that show you the three items, the SQL editor, the query sage and the saved queries. So the SQL editor, if you click on it, this is where you get to write your SQL. Let me zoom in a bit. This is where you get to write your SQL statement, your structured query language statement. So assuming you have not worked with SQL before, I would advise you to look at how you can write SQL statements. So, this SQL lab makes it possible or it takes you a step closer to creating your own um, dashboards out of result sets. To access your database, you simply have to select the database connection you created here. For example, me, I'll be working with Bear. This is the database connection I created from my last tutorial. If I select Bear, you're going to see that just below it, the schemas found within the database connection B will come up and I'll select Northwind. This is my database. And accordingly or respectively, you're gonna see that the dropdown just below that will also populate with the tables found within the Northwind database. Like so. The minute you cl click on a table, you're gonna be given a quick preview of the data within that table. For example, like so. And if you click on it, you're going to see a preview tab opening here with the data found within the categories table. You will also see that on your side tab, sidebar on the left side, you're going to see information concerning that table, like the primary key, the composite key, unique or not, things like that. You can collapse it. You can click to view objects of the primary key, as well as uh, the combinations, the name of the unique keys, if it is an index or not, things like that. You can also arrange it to sort. It doesn't really uh, help us that much. You can copy this statement. The minute you copy this statement, uh, you can copy. The same statement that you copy is more of uh, an SQL select statement. So if you copy it and right click or control V, you're going to see that. This is the statement with the limit. So clicking on it or this preview is the same as this statement. So you can find a quick select statement for that table by clicking on this icon. You can close it so that it stops displaying anything on the preview tab. You can also collapse it accordingly. SQL Lab makes it possible for you to save your queries. If you want to save it for future use, click on Save Query, like so. Clicking on Save Query, you write the name of that query. We'll call it King Query. And you can put the description that you want and save. It makes it also possible for you to share your query. So each and every query that you write, on the SQL editor provided by SQL Lab is 
given a unique URL that you can use to share with other people that are accessing that superset server on the same network, assuming so. So you can click on share and then you can see this is the URL that's get generated for that specific query. You can copy it and email it to, for example, BI analyst in Office B or wherever the person might be. The minute they enter it onto their browser and pressing enter will direct them straight to the same query opened in a tab uh, that is specifically meant for their view, right? You also need to take note that such a functionality can be affected by your user privilege definitions. Who can view what? Who can do what? So sometimes it might not always work. If you are to copy and share a query with someone who cannot view the SQL lab, but most of the times SQL lab will be free for viewing for most of the people. You can also limit the number of rows that you want to return per each query or per that specific query that you'll be running. For example, here, if I reset and run this query, select all from categories, you're going to see that we get eight rows, right? The minute I limit it to, let's say, for example, three, set it to that and run the query again, you're going to see I will get the three topmost rows. This can all be depending on your order by statement. For example, if you say order by um, descending, is it ascending or descending? So I'm not going to get much into the details of SQL. I'm going to assume you know all that. The other feature that here is something that you might not use more often, which makes it possible for you to create uh, templates using Jinji templating if you have worked with Flash flash framework before but i'll show you this tutorial for now let's just focus on the sql lab the sql editor saved queries and the query stage so if you're to run let me reset this if you're to run this query it returns the data like so this is our result grid if you've worked with uh the likes of mysql web page you can copy the result query you can copy it and paste it wherever you want you can export it as CSV and work with that info or data straight on, for example, Excel. I prefer Excel, right? You can do that. You can do further do your pivot tables within Excel. Um, the biggest part of this is the exploration. Now, remember, Superset is a data visualization and exploration tool. So the biggest part of all this is the exploration button. With the exploration button, the minute you click it, it opens up a new browser tab where you get uh, data displayed here in form of a table. By default, the visualization type that comes is a table, like here, as it says on the left side bar. You can then edit this, which is not the main focus of our tutorial right now. What we need to do is mostly focus on SQL Lab. I will show you how we can further create dashboards, dashboard slices and publish them in the following tutorials. Then next, we have the query search. The query search under the SQL Lab feature makes it possible for you to view all the queries that have ever been executed Answer that specific superset server. So you can filter who has uh, executed which query and when. I need to see these queries. For example, you want to just cross check. Someone's been running queries that um, makes the whole server freeze, for example, if you're doing a witch hunt. Or if you're just looking for a query that you have forgotten but have once executed previously. And you want to edit it, you can use the query sage feature. The minute you go to query sage, you can further filter. Say, for example, I want to focus on just the classic DB connection. I want every query that has been executed by you, Imataruse, for the 
in the for the past um in the range of uh, 90 days um now for example all the queries that failed or are running or offline or painting or just successful then you search this is pretty straightforward you can view for example this is what you can see it's very much possible for you to view history of uh, the queries that have once been executed and lastly we have the saved queries the saved queries this is where uh, this is a table that shows you all the queries that has been saved um, for future use for example five minutes ago we created this king query query like so you can delete it you can edit it you can view it and the biggest part of it you can visit it straight in the sql editor by clicking on this link under the pop tab link if you click on it it's going to open the same query in a different new tab so this is the queen king query and this is the query that we executed earlier and we can execute it just like so another good thing with the sql editor provided by this sql lab is that it is not limited you can even get intelligence if you type for example select you see we get an instant we get an, an intelligence that shows that this is an sql reserved word and you can directly press enter or click on it and it auto completes that word select all from again you get an intelligence from categories again you get an inter intelligence of all the tables you have within your database within your database like so i will create a tutorial on some of the things that you have to do if you want to work with different databases and if you want to display those different databases on the same dashboard if you run on it it gives you the exact same data so it also supports those famous functions for example if we say select count we have the count function in my sql right select count all from categories if you press run query you're gonna get the count you see that this count is colored correctly but then unfortunately some of the the functions that mysql provides are not cannot be colorized on this sql editor it's a bit of a lightweight version compared to the likes of navkit or webbench etc so some functions like concord concord is just an example they work but they cannot be colorized like here you can see it remains black if i carry on to um Quickly, let me quickly run this uh, query. If I say this and run, you see we get the concatenated versions of uh, the first name and last name here, like Nancy Davelio and all that. So it's so much possible for you to run those complex MySQL queries because I have connected this one to MySQL. You can select your connection to SQLite, it's possible. You can use MS SQL, it's possible. And some functions that you find in MySQL, functions that you find in SQLite, you can still use them within the SQL editor. It's very much possible. And lastly, you're gonna see that we have the query history that also functions in same way as the sql quick query search it shows you that the last sql statement you executed executed successfully and it's within this database connection this is the query and things like that it's so much possible without wasting much of your time i really appreciate it if you like my video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorials when we get to go ahead um, and try to translate the queries that we've just created into creating a, a simple and minimalistic dashboard like this. Like so. I'll show you this 
in the next tutorial. Without wasting much of your time, please like and subscribe if you can. Like my videos. Motivate me into doing this more and more. I thank you.